Okay, now we're going to set up the template tripod case as a, a convenient shoulder strap so you carry it in over your shoulder. So I open this tripod up and set it down to the proper height. Next, the laser. Next, the computer. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn on the camera above us. If I can get this feed on this camera up here, okay? Okay, the first thing we need to do now is double tap on the icon for the LT55. The program comes up. I will easily hit auto fill it. I hit two points on each straight edge of the cabinet base. It's just by tapping the main screen here. Very simple. This is not rocket science. Okay, now I'm going to raise the laser so that I can hit the um, refrigerator. I'm also going to go a little higher so I can get over that splash. Again, two points. It's a straight object. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is close the polygon. Okay, and I'm going to rotate the drawing on the front edge. Now is when we want to check our dimensions. The dimensions here were set in 30 seconds of an inch. Uh, it's very simple to see, and I can go around and check each one of these to see exactly how close I am to what it actually is. It's, it's, a, it's a must in every situation to check at least a couple. Next, I will offset by an inch and a half, because I have that saved, each overhang that I want to do. Just like that, I tap on the overhang and tap away from it. Now I'm going to erase the base units that I don't need. Now I'm going to fill it first with sharp fillet from this corner. I'm going to put a European seam in here. That'll be a sharp corner over there. Now I'm going to fill it with a radius of three inches, I believe, there and there. Next, I will drop in a European seam it actually has both lines on it, so all I have to do now is erase the one I don't want. Then I'm going to extend to the back wall from this line. Next, I have to drop my sink in. So I'm going to go down to my double bowl sink that I've saved and drop it right in the center of um, that base unit. I need to offset it though, so I'm going to go in and set up a uh, four inch offset it asks me if I want to offset the whole sink, and I say yes. It sinks in. Now, the last thing I'm going to do here is change the, the um, finished edge to red. That'll indicate for me, for example, this is double bull nose. Now, that was four minutes. This is approximately a 29 and a half, 30 foot countertop. If you take that times two, that would be only eight, nine minutes. At most, maybe another minute to take it apart for a 60-foot kitchen. It's a little less than what we had thought before. A lot less work. Save all our templating for one day. Go out and shoot six, eight, ten jobs, whatever, all in one day. You're in that already in that mode of getting everything set. It saves a lot of time.